Hey, yeah, day we Amber here with Ginger in the Desert Creations. I am going to be doing a four-part paint on a uh, hardwood mission-style TV stand. And I have chosen the theme for this piece, or set of pieces, to be the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. First up is fire. Let's go paint! New project. Actually, this is four projects sitting right here, if you didn't know it. We have here a mission-style TV stand, but it is actually going to become an end table. We gonna do the top. We gonna do the drawer. That one is gonna just be black because it's an undershelf that goes under this one. And then there's gonna be two little panels right here that go on either side. And I'm probably going to paint the little thingies here. Either some kind of metallic or maybe a lavender. We'll see what fits when we get there. But this is the beginning of a new set of projects. Okay. Wrecked ring pour on our elemental table. We've got creative inspirations, lemon yellow. I am playing around with Amsterdam Oxide Black. I have got Arteza Pearl Canary Yellow. Almost couldn't say that one. I have got the little bitty bit of leftover pearl chartreuse. I still have yet to rescue that spoon that has been living in there since like November when I first mixed that up. I have Creative Inspirations Cadmium Orange U that won't open up. There it is. Got little black things in it, of course. Of course, of course. I don't know why it's got little black things in it. And we have Karuma Molten Metals Copper. We gonna do something fiery. We gonna do a fiery wrecked ring port. Did I introduce the Montmartre Titanium Hulite? I think I just kind of wrecked that lid is what I did. We'll see how that works later. Ooh, someone needs a shake. So we have, this is an eight by 12 space. This uh, bit that is in the middle of the tape. I want the center to be lovely and bright. So we are going to put lovely and bright in the center. Start with that lemon yellow. Nice big doll above it because usually the cup holds on to a whole lot of that last thing you put on there. Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna put a little sparkle. I'm gonna go with the orange. Let me get that little black thing out of it. Cadmium orange hue. Cadmium orange hue. Don't drip. Copper, copper, copper. Actually, let's use the one that's in the bottle so I can get rid of this stupid bottle. Clean it out and never use it again. I don't like squeezy bottles. I just don't. But I didn't know that until I did Beyond the Road. And these are left over from Beyond the Road. We're gonna call that good. I am going to, let's see, I'm gonna put in the chartreuse. Pearl chartreuse. Gets a little bit of greeniness in there. It's an interesting color. It is an interesting color. Now I am going to kind of dirty pour this. Um, so from up high, down in. And you can see it just sinks. And then we put a little bit gently across the top. I want to be careful because I don't want to have too much black. But I do want it to be present. Uh, let's get the weight in there. And might as well just dirty pour that as well. Get some gray going on. Embrace the gray. Now let's do another, 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 another layer thing. Lemon yellow. 
Sparkle, sparkle with that canary. Oranging it up nicely. Cadmium orange hue. Gabba, gabba, gabba. I love the gabba, gabba, gabba. There should always be a papa gabba. Dirty pour down. The old drizzle on top. Almost knocked that over. I'm gonna hit it with the chartreuse. I almost forgot our chartreuse. That's about the end of that chapter. There is no room for any white, but I'm gonna put some in anyway. There we go. Okay. You ready to ring this thing? Very close. And get it ringing, because it ain't ringing yet. Here it rang, there's it ringing, there we go. Oh look, Halloween. <laughs> Let's move it a little bit more towards the center, shall we? Hopefully. Center. Never that good at finishing off a center, but I'm not gonna wreck it. So, oi! <laughs> Move swiftly and with confidence. I'm going to... Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to just take it all in for a second. Why don't I? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'm going to go here. I'm going to kind of try to give it these... Uh, I don't know. Wibbly sun qualities, maybe. I'm going to... Wreck this quite a bit. One more time. Just stretch it to hell and back. I think I'm gonna head that away first. Probably gonna try a little bit to keep this um, sort of sunny shape, but no promises. There we go, over that edge. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna roll it on back down to this edge. Right there, we found our edge. Okay. Bring the weight of the paint back to the center. Oh, <laughs> the layers in that. Oh, that is, that is, that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is. Oh, it is. I don't know what it is, but it is. Okay, going this away. Don't get distracted by the pretty. Concentrate, concentrate. Must concentrate. And boom, we're over that edge. Coming back to the center. The effect in that center is wild. I recently heard um, by watching a video from Molly's Artistry 
that the Amsterdam Oxide Black kind of knows how to play with other paints that the um, the blacks swallow up the cheaper blacks swallow up the paint but the uh, the uh, more expensive fancier varietal knows how to to play better and I might be inclined to agree because this does look like it played well huh now i gotta figure out what i'm doing here mm, i still do have quite a bit of paint on here i've lost the effect a little bit i'm not sure if i should pull another one through here because it's this is just orange and uh and then that ain't that ain't what I was going for. Um, so let's see if I bring in there, give it a little extra wrecker. It's working so far. Do I get brave and do one more, or do I just stretch that way and be happy? I don't know. Kiss it with fire, see if it changes any. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. The prismic thing that it's done through this center is very impressive. I'm thinking of trying to still tilt it and stretch it this way a bit more because there's like a ton going on and it's just like that's just like orange we gonna push it that away where's the where's the weight of the paint it is sort of on this edge still towards me now it's going towards away from me towards away from me we're going towards away yes we're going towards away towards away is good something in the paint something in the paint you see that you see that I see it where'd it go <laughs> I saw it you can see it when it moves because it moves around there it is there it is there it is right there I actually think I like that because it's strangely dark on this side no, it's strangely dark on this side. Hello, my brain is working. Strangely dark on this side, but it's strangely lighter on this side. So it's got this weird duality. It's, it's, it's cool. So I think I'm going to pull some of this design back towards me and call this one done. Because I feel like this um, sort of focal point should meet up with this bar that's, that's the goal in that um, it will look a little different when I pull the tape off of it because like that section and that section will go away I don't know about this little swoop so let's let's give it a little bit of a tilt. It is not in a hurry to leave. There. Does that look less swoopy? Mm. Probably want it back up there. Fan, make up your mind, make up your mind. 
at least it'll have more of a straight line instead of a swoop. Because I didn't like the swoop. Swoop no good. Don't know why. Okay, let's look at that. Oh yeah, you gotta come down and look at this. There is so much to this. Unbeweavable. I don't know about you, but I believe that this may be a wow and a half. Let's get in close so we can better see our glare. <laughs> that is a very cool little like portal cell thingy that's there. All the lininess. And check out this spider webby stuff that the yellow did. That is just crazy. Crazy good. We got the orange section. And some of that is going to be gone with the tape. But we're okay with that. We're okay with that. So this is, I don't know, it's sort of sunny. It's sort of fiery. And if we take a delicate little turn here, that is actually the way that it will be viewed when it is done. Because the bottom will be on the floor and the top will be at the top. <laughs> anyway, stick around for the right result. I now sit here bracing myself to remove the tape because Oh my goodness, this edge is wonderful. But the tape is going to take that like inch off, maybe inch and a half. That's going to hurt. I'm going to have to pull it off like a band-aid. Oh my goodness, because it's pretty. But check out the lininess and the flow, the lines, the curves, the all that. And that prismic center is very, very cool. Oh, yes, we love that. Swirly whirlies. This edge over here ain't going to hurt as much to remove. It's It's got some coolness, but the, the other side. Oh, my goodness. That's going to hurt to remove. So, yeah. But I have to, I have to take it off and, uh, and paint it black around the edges. We'll have it all framed up nice so that it can become a table and I will probably release that with the final piece there are four of these so no there are gonna be five because I have now decided I'm repainting that drawer there will be five so hang around for that thanks for watching comment like and subscribe bye bye